Hello everyone, this is The Art of Second Place, and we are going through how to play Progressive Fog Zombies as best as I can. I'm going to try to get all the points that I can across, and we'll see um, if this time I actually am recording, versus the last time I mess up. This is a bad spawn, so I'm going to invest most of my troops up top here, get off this portal, and see what I can do for combining troops. Um, what's the most likely troop spot to um, get wiped from? Hmm. I make this a 5 minimum. I can't see any of the zombies except for that one, which is really bad. So this is a really tough spawn. It's going to be hard to prepare for this. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I pull down here and have three spots and one of them survives? I don't know. Hmm. I have four troops to work with. I'm doing this 4v1. I'm not going to try to keep that alive. It's probably dead. But maybe it survived. I'm going to add two troops here. Hmm. Maybe I try split... Hmm. Let's try this. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I was I was assuming this was dead anyways. Hmm. We go up here. We'll see, we could get rocked, or we could be fine after this. So this is going to guarantee this five goes here, or here. And why would you sacrifice addition? Red's gonna add at least a couple more to the portal, right? Or they're not adding to the portal. That's risky. But it could work. Zombies aren't guaranteed to be, teed to be huge here. Hmm. This could be really bad or this could be really good. This also could have a route. It could attack up in Algeria and then move around. Or it could go just go straight in my three, which it probably is going to. But I wasn't expecting this to survive anyway, so we'll see. And so, yeah, now I'm also making mental screenshot of what I can see. I see a lot of black here. From the borders here. I don't see much of anyone else. My spawn isn't great for vision. Why are you rolling this? Hmm. Are you trying to connect something? Okay. There's an 800. Okay, so I see a lot more white now. Hmm. Yep, that wasn't shocking at all. Not shocked at all by losing that three. That was expected. Portal hopping zombies aren't doing much. I'm worried that there's going to be a huge zombie stack that comes west of my five. That would not be good, especially since black loves to hit me. The black player loves to hit me a lot, so. That dispersing would be fantastic. Thank you. Obviously lose the two now. Oh, nope, it goes up. Interesting, maybe I can save that. Mm -hmm. I could actually maybe save my positions up top. Yeah, actually, I could. There's nothing near that too. I could attack into Italy and be fine. That's actually not bad. This is not a horrible turn. I can attack here and fortify this up and be fine. I can make this. Um, Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine, I think. Hmm. I do not think I invest in this two too much. Maybe make it a three and eventually combine these two together. Or just expect it to get wiped out and not try super hard to keep it on. But yeah, this isn't that horrible anymore. 
You can also see where player attacking based on the number of dice they attack with. Most likely they are trying to get a guaranteed card. You can go with this. Mm, maybe. Or just take a card like this. And move over. Gradually combine these together. I don't seem like I'm in danger, but there could be a massive zombie stack somewhere here. So I'm just currently just trying to keep my troops alive, trying not to lose them. And then eventually, if I ever get a chance to get into the late game, which these games sometimes go very quickly and you don't have a chance, but the goal is to get into like the 50 trades or something. That's, the, that's when the actual skill comes into play. If you're set for the 50 plus trades and you don't get like completely smacked, you should be fine. Why adds one troop here? That tells me there might be a zombie stack that's sizable. Right next to white. Um, the six is making me nervous. It's less nervous now. There's still going to be some massive zombie stacks. Especially next to this. Um, I think I make this attack once, pull this in. And chill. I think the rest of my position should be safe. Maybe add one troop here. Maybe we'll add maybe all, all six stacks hit this that pull inwards. Would be fine actually. That'd be a good solid play, I think. Hmm. I think that's probably the safest way for me to go. So I know black, like I'm not tracking black because it doesn't make any sense for me. Make this a six, I'll make this a six. Make this a six attack up top here. Hopefully not unveil a massive zombie stack. Pull that in there. And then the next turn, I will try to spread out. <laughs> nice is going to have a free lane out here. Probably put the stack here hope that the zombie stack whatever stack it is doesn't wipe them out first meanwhile I'm hoping the same thing I'm also keeping track of red I see one two three positions of red I probably should have paid attention I think the zombies might double again and if that's the case that's really bad for me So the zombies aren't ridiculous. So I can make these roll sevens, be fine. Make this a six, a six, a seven. Attack downwards, maybe? I'm assuming the zombies are gonna double again. So in that case, I should probably just um, prepare accordingly. I could also, I don't know. I don't know the best way. This six is fine. I can make this uh, seven, seven, seven attack down and hope that I get good dice. I could do this maybe and really hope that I get good dice. I think I do this, add one here, the rest here. Move up. I think everything else is fine. Perfect. That's beautiful right there. Mm-hmm. 
want to be down here. I think I should be fine. Zombies get plus three or plus double. One of those two. So I'm trying to, right now, I'm in the stage of I'm trying to keep my positions alive, not trying to die. And then the next, next, once I get my sets, I'm going to try to move into another spot for portals. That's the idea. I think the zombies have plus three. They could double again though. We'll know next turn. These zombies mode, you always gotta stay locked in. Prepare for something bad to happen, possibly. Plus three or t double. Plus two, okay. So the zombies are done smacking the snot out of everybody. Nice always seems to get followed around by zombie portals. Since no one can see this, I'm probably going to add everything to my 7 and hit the 3 and see if that's all of red. Assuming red in the same position, which they could be. Take a look. There's a six there. I think red has one more position though. But I'm taking a look. How many troops do you caught? How many troops is red deploying? That's it, important. Three. They put all of their troops in my vision. Get really good dice. Nice. I still can see all of red, possibly. If Nice's stack gets popped on the portal, that is not good for me at all. Because this weakest stack, if it wins. Ooh, is he slow rolling a zombie stack? Did he lose everything? I'm guessing nice. Probably wiping out? Metallic stack maybe? I don't know. They're definitely trying to keep something alive. Or are they going to try to remove metallic stack from them? Hmm. This is interesting. It makes me think like, um, nice is, um, trying to save a position but didn't. I think I see all of red, so I can plan accordingly to kill them, maybe? Assuming I have a set. Next. I also need to avoid being a target for red, because red could probably all see at me. I gotta be careful here too, because I could also die before red. Let's see what kind of numbers would be here. 11, 10. I'd have to make this an 11. That'd be 3. 10. That'd be 7. The rest on my 6. 
for the 10 trade, no, it wouldn't be worth it. It'd be worth it next round. <laughs> Talic over here. That's odd. He put everything in my vision. I don't I don't trust that though. I could put everything here, but that's just dumb. I do like keeping this super strong though. I think I'm gonna move away from red, not freak him out that I'm right there. Nice, beautiful dice, love it. I'm set up to kill red next trade. If I get one, which I might not get one. Let's take a look. Do we see 13 troops deployed? There's three, one. Two, three, four, five. Yep, that's 13 troops. I see all of red. They're going to run, right? Where are they going to run to? They're going to run there. Okay, they're running there. So red is here. Um, here. Here, here, here. Okay, so nice has got plus 14. That's not all of nice, obviously. Um, he's running over here. Huh. <laughs> nice does see most of me though. This makes it really annoying for me to kill Red. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on Talik. If he puts everything in my vision again, then I might have to consider that that's all of Talik. But he'll probably set in early if he has a set. But yeah, this is good. I've seen vision. I know red is here. I know red is here. I know red is here, here. I mean, the best thing for me to do is to pull this 10 inwards, right? For killing red, but I don't even know if I'm going to have a trade here. I can also go this way. That's also a better route going from the 10. Red is no longer right next to me, which is good. What's Talek putting in front of my face again? Is he gonna put all of his troops again? Nope, that's not all of his troops, okay. Nice. I have so many options to take red out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. There's a purple 10. Pull back here. Because I can get cheaper cards here. I have no trade. That's fantastic. Just when I needed one trade, I don't get one because game hates me. Um, I might die to somebody deciding to try to kill me, but nah. I think I put everything on this stack next turn. Assuming red does not see... Or maybe I put one here, the rest on here, and I attack my cheapest card. Mm -hmm. That's not good for me, because now red is open to me, and they probably know where I am too, but, but they're not lined up for me, so I don't shouldn't die to red. It's just frustrating, because I can't kill red this turn. Somebody's going to trade early out of nerves, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. 
I think I attack upwards here. I think I add two here, the rest to my 11. Trying to not get smacked the snot out of. I'm still not taking a card here. Not a cheap one. Um, purple can't see. This. I'm just gonna keep this uh, active possibly move this up here Cost me two troops, but it's better this way just in case red decides to kill me Red's going to trade in early because they know that I know where they are I think However, if I were to kill red it would have been this turn But because I can see I know where they are. They're gonna set in early. That's probably gonna mess me over, right? And nice is going to kill me. Everybody setting in possibly makes me stay alive. <laughs> I can kill. I can kill. I can kill red, yeah. Let's make this a... Oh, I'm not closing off my lines. No, I'm not. Hmm. Red's got probably 20 troops. The 25 trade would be worth it for five cards, but then nice kills me, I think. So I think I let it slide for now. Unless I can kill nice. I mean, I could try not to die to nice, but I think he just kills me, right? Okay. This is the exciting part. I'm going to try to kill red anyways, because why not make this in a 12. <laughs> Give you guys something to watch. I think I go up here. Fifteen V nine. It's going to be super tight. Hmm. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I can't. Hmm. That's un unfortunate that I can't kill red here. I do have a set, though. I can set it up next turn. It was good of them to move down that bottom spot. Mm -hmm. And I keep watching, that's four. Six. Nine. That's 33 troops, that fits exactly what they're doing. 
I do think I trade an early next turn. Set it up. Mm -hmm. I will kill them next turn, I believe. I'll just portal hop someplace else. There's the other position of Talek, probably. setting it early actually don't mind the noise in the background I've got put the pressure. They're running because they know they're dead. Thirteen. Do I have enough to kill them? And chain it in Talek. Probably not. Hmm. What we'll try. I'd have to double tap the thirty-two and then not get smoked. Just poking around, taking a look. I definitely go for it right now. I've known all this time. The players are. I think we have bad dice, or somebody's just blocking me from getting it. Sure.
you please just attack? Thank you. There's a kill. Nice now kills Talek probably for five cards, right? As nice knows where last position of Talek is, right? kills me maybe or tries to kill me and feeds me hmm. okay well played. so he gets the full sweep here right he sets him um, after killing Iversum. Or at least kills me by zombies, maybe. Hmm. He's got to try to kill me to the zombies, dude. Just take the bounty. I don't have a set. Oh, that's so lame. trying to feed me to the zombies. I hope I survive. I hope I survive. And I hope you fail. And then I can maneuver my way into not dying, but that's not gonna happen. Because you don't play for bounty, you play for trying to kill somebody in this situation, because that's the right play, it's still annoying us, but yep. Um, they just fed me. Yeah, I, I know. And then Nice um, decided to um, feed me to the zombies, which was 